Hello friends, in this tutorial, we are going to discuss the most efficient way to generate prime numbers between 1, 2 and uh, we are uh, going to discuss sieve algorithm. So in my previous uh, video tutorials, I have discussed uh, multiple approaches to generate prime numbers between 1, 2 and and the link of all those tutorials are present in the description box of the video. So please make sure you check the description box and uh, before uh, discussing C's algorithm, let's first understand what is prime number. So a prime number is a number which can be divided by 1 and itself, which can be divisible by 1 and itself. So it has two divisor, 1 and itself. So uh, let's suppose we have to generate a prime number between 1 to 20. So as per prime uh, uh, C's algorithm, we first generate a num all the numbers between uh, 2 to 20 as 1 is not a prime number and 2 is the only even prime numbers to 2 to 20 and and mark all the number as prime so initially all those numbers are prime and then what we can do is uh, we cancel out the uh, I mean let's say so if if I am saying 2 is a prime number, then all the multiples of 2 is not a prime number. So cancel out, 4 is cancel out, 6 is cancel out, 8 is cancel out, 10 is cancel out, 12 is cancel out, 14, similarly 16, 18 and 20. Uh, similarly, if 3 is a prime number, then all the multiples of 3 is not a prime number. So 9 is cancelled out, 6 is already cancelled out, uh, 12 is already cancelled out, uh, 14 is already, now 15 is cancelled out. So in this case, if a number is 20, we run a loop from 2 to square root of n. So n is 20, so square root of n is 4 point something, which is 4. So 4 is already cancelled out, so it's not a prime number. So we don't have to cancel out uh, its multiple. And the reason for running a loop from 2 to square root uh, of n is so suppose if number n is not a prime number so it's uh, one of the multiple is always less than or equal to the, the square root of n so if I am taking the example of 15 so suppose 15 and it's its multiple is uh, its factor are 3 and 5 so if if you take the square root of 15 which is 3.3.87 so it is less than or equal to 3 so one of the multiple is less than equal to 3 then other will automatically be cancelled out so <coughs> we have to run a loop from 2 to a square root of n if both the numbers i mean both the factors is greater than uh, this square root of n then the number itself will be greater than n so we we have to run a loop from 2 to square root of n it's a optimization technique uh, i mean it's a bit if uh, for running a loop from 2 to n uh, i mean it's not a optimized way Just, so make sure you run a loop from 2 to square root of n so uh, this is the c's algorithm now uh, let's uh, see the implementation uh, in java so i am hiding this and so i have declared a, a boolean array and its size is n plus one so we generate all numbers from two to n and initially mark every number as prime so uh, initially every number is a prime number then we run a loop from 2 to square root of n why we are running a loop from 2 to square root of n which i have already discussed and if number is a prime then cancel out all its multiple so this is the uh, in this logic we are cancel out all the multiples of for example uh, we are starting from 2 so all the multiples of 2 then 3 so uh, the number which is initially which is a prime we are cancelling out all the multiples of that number so initially so how this loop are going to run so initially all the numbers are prime so we start with two 
so yes it's a prime number so we are cancelling out all its multiple which is four six eight now comes to three three is also a prime yes and then we cancel out all its multiple now comes to four four is not a prime we already mark its false for five yes <clears throat> so uh, if if the n is uh, i mean 20 then a five will not come uh, it it is greater than uh, four so after this loop all the remaining numbers uh, i mean which uh, which is uh, marked as true is a prime number so let's print first print prime numbers between 1 to 20 if i r run this code see the output 2357 similarly if i if we have to print prime numbers between 1 to 100 let's uh, run this code all the num all the prime numbers between 1 to 100 is printed out so this is the best algorithm to print uh, prime numbers between 1 to n so i hope uh, you like uh, love this video and uh, that's it for this video uh, please subscribe our uh, youtube channel you can visit our programming blog which is webrewrite.com and you can share this uh, video with your friends with your colleagues so uh, and uh, thanks for watching this video thanks for your time